founder and the pioneer national chairman of the Defunct Congress for Progressive Change, CPC, Senator Rafi Hanga, has said there was implied agreement President Muhammad Buhari would have hand over power to the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the former governor of Lagos State, Hasiweju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, in 2023. Hanga, who chaired one of the parties which collapsed to form the APC in 2014, told Daily Trust the agreement was the reason why Tinubu remained in the APC after Buhari's first tenure. This is an open secret. There was an implied agreement. Even in law, there is implied and expressed act. If something is expressed, there are no two ways about it. There was an implied agreement that he would take over. That is why he did not back out after the first tenor. If Tunubu knew that he would not benefit, he would have backed out during the Buhari's first tenure, but he knows there was an agreement, he said. Hanga, however, expressed doubt that the APC will give its ticket to Tinubu, predicting a fight ahead with power blocks among governors and some forces in the presidency. The former lawmaker said, though the two major parties had their crisis, Nigerians may in the end prefer the People's Democratic Party PDP because of what he described as a woeful performance of the APC government under Buhari. Daily Trust could not get reactions from the presidency and the APC headquarters on hunger's allegations. A presidential spokesman, Gaba Shehu, declined comments while contacted by correspondent. Also, the Secretary of the APC Ketika Extraordinary National Convention Planning Committee, Senator John James, and the party's Deputy National Publicity Secretary Yekini Naibina did not respond to phone calls. A member of the Ketika Committee and the former Senate President Ken Namina simply said, I was not in the party then. But in a telephone interview with Daily Trust, a chieftain of the party and the former presidential candidate, Chief Chikwas Okori, said the purported agreement. Okay, said the purported agreement should not be a basis for transfer of power. He insisted that President Muhammad Buhari lacked the power as an individual to support Tunubu, a presidential candidate, because. He does not exist in the constitution of the APC. He said Tinubu should lobby just like any other aspirant in the party. If there was such agreement, it was gentle, mainly it does not exist in the APC constitution or any democratic norm. It does not exist in the Nigerian constitution. If there was such agreement, it would not have been when Buhari was sworn in as a president and it will not have been written. It was a gamble as far as I am concerned. So I will say that if Asiweju is relying on that agreement, he sold the market on credit. That is the basic political description of what he did. Will President Buhari tell the party not to observe all the necessary processes that would lead to the election of a presidential candidate and simply for seat as a Jew on us. That one will not be democratic and it is not possible it will be a sure way of leading the party to defeat in 2023. I know that President Muhammad Buhari would want to see the party continue after him. That type of agreement does not affect all of us in the party, Okuri said. On his part, a chieftain of the APC and associate of the president, Osita Okechuku, said Buhari hardly entered into any written agreement with people. Asked whether he was aware of any agreement between Buhari and Tinubu to hand over power to the latter after his tenure. Okechuku said, I can reasonably confirm that 
he ap appreciates the contribution of Asiwe Jutinubu to his victory. But I am not sure of any formal agreement. I am not aware of that. Mr. President does not enter any agreement with anybody, but he appreciates good deeds. Most importantly, don't forget that Mr. President said he had become a democratic and other democratic things. There is no way he can help anybody, he said. <laughs> User in democratic things, there is no way. Buhari can help anybody, said Buhari. So, under what type of formation has Buhari been helped, helped to become the president? It is through his own effort, through not a noise of huge fake census population, through part brainwash to Southwest after Buhari, who contested almost three times, but lost, and covered by his own reigning highs. Those period he lost, we are there no northerners. It is now he democratic deceivers. How would a country be progressive when we have those characters in power? They will keep brainwashing Yoruba since they like noise than reality. Nigerians are reacting. 2023 is either Tinubu gets APC presidential ticket or it will die the same way PDP is dying. Again, we won't give APC ticket to Tinubu and still goes ahead and win presidential election come 2023. Is Nigeria a personal property that two people will agree among themselves? How, when, and how to rule? The law shall deliver Nigeria from darkness. That agreement was not entered by individuals. It was by a group of political party members that made up APC and we come to pass. All right, these are Nigerians talking. Big mounted Southern Satana politicians. When it comes to the defense of Buhari and the APC, you are in the forefront. And when it comes to reaction, you are found missing in actions. How many Northerners agree to speak on this issue? So guys, you've all heard it now. I'm going to drop it here. These are Nigerians' reactions to this. I'm going to drop it here. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.